Hello and welcome to Media Cafe Travel. Be sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below or right here on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Today we're going to be featuring more burgers in Las Vegas. We're going to take a look at fancy burgers and cheap burgers that are available in Las Vegas and most of these are very near the strip. We'll see some big burgers and little ones so let's get going. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from Media Cafe Travel. We have done burgers before but uh, there are other burger places to consider. First up is Holstein's, which has been closed for a short time recently, but as of the release of this video, it's open again. Holstein's located in the Cosmopolitan on the second floor, across from the Block 16 food court. It features a lounge and traditional restaurant seating. Holstein's also features bright pop art, which comes from local artists. And some of the highlights on the menu are the shakes, like the cookies and cream shake that features ice cream sandwich on the glass, which you will see. And they have great burgers as well, uh, as well as tasty garlic parmesan fries. Holstein's likes to call their burgers the Big Buns, and uh, they offer bamboozled shakes that feature alcohol, but you can also get those same versions of the shake without alcohol if you like. They have several appetizers uh, as well, even uh, egg rolls that are called Philly rolls, which are like mini cheesesteaks inside an egg roll. Uh, very interesting, and of course, uh, a really cool place to hang out and watch the game.
Now let's go off the strip for some fast food burger options. First, we'll talk about the Habit Burger Grill. Uh, Habit Burger Grill is a chain, and it's related to KFC because it's part of the Yum Brands restaurant group. There are several locations in Las Vegas. This particular one is not too far from Bally's, just down um, Flamingo. I have to say that uh, overall, the burgers themselves remind me a lot of In-N-Out Burger, which of course is a West Coast uh, chain as well. And we've covered In-N-Out at Las Vegas in a previous video, so be sure to hit a notification bell so you never miss an episode of Media Cafe Travel. But all in all, this is a solid burger for fast food, especially if you're a fan of In-N-Out, it's very similar. Next, let's talk about White Castle, which does have a location on the Strip, but this one is nearby on Paradise Road. Uh, it, White Castle, of course, is an institution that was founded in 1921. In many states, there isn't White Castle, but they do have a counterpart called Crystals. And White Castle, of course, is known for its tiny burgers, or rather, sliders. Some prefer White Castle to Crystal. And I don't think there's a big difference between the burgers, but the fries at White Castle are definitely a little bit better because they're crinkle cut. And who doesn't love a crinkle cut fry? Next, let's talk burgers, sausages, and dogs. At Doghouse Beer Garden, you can find all three. It's located near the Virgin Hotel, which of course, formerly the Hard Rock Hotel, and across from the Hofbra House on Paradise Road. This is a pretty good burger spot, but also hot dogs and sausages. In fact, this place has a bratwurst corn dog, which proved irresistible to me. Okay, let's get back to the strip and let's get back to gourmet burgers. And you don't get any more gourmet than Gordon Ramsay, right? His burger restaurant is literally called Burger. 
and it is at Planet Hollywood. The method that Gordon Ramsay uses to cook their patties uh, is on open flame hardwoods. It's consistently ranked in the top five, just like Holstein's, of Las Vegas burger spots. And along with burgers, uh, Burger features milkshakes and appetizers like uh, kettle chip nachos and beer battered onion rings. They also make their fries from Kennedy potatoes, which is supposed to result in lighter and crispier fries. And Gordon Ramsay always features a variation of his sticky toffee for dessert. And in this case, at Burger, that variation is the sticky toffee ice cream sandwich, which is you're definitely going to see. As you probably notice, Burger features a 30-foot fire feature with the logo of the restaurant on the windows. It's definitely a neat design that we got to sit near, which cast a flaming reflection on our table, which was really cool. As you see, the menu is uh, one page for food and one page for cocktails. So it's straight to dogs and burgers at the Burger.
As you can see on our visit, we got the kettle chip nachos that features corned beef and short ribs with cheddar cheese sauce, which we got on the side. We also tried the forest burger, which you see here, which includes duck, bacon, and arugula, along with mushrooms and trimmer cheese. We got a side of truffle parmesan fries, and also the hog burger, which was a special. So it was basically a pork patty, along with uh, pulled pork and bacon. For dessert, it was the sticky toffee ice cream sandwich that was quite tasty despite being pretty difficult to slice into with just a spoon. But again, this is Gordon Ramsay's signature dessert, uh, always a variation, and it was a tasty variation. But as you can see, it's a very cool place, and all the burgers, if you're a burger fan, were worth checking out. See you next time. Thanks for watching Media Cafe Travel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.